Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were about to go to the Dark Void. So, let's go on a little adventure, shall we? To the Dark Void. <laughs> this should certainly be interesting, if nothing else. Okay, so if memory serves, the Dark Void is somewhere. Let's go up so we don't have to get into any needless combat. Now, as for collectibles, I think we're just about there. Let's have a look. Ducat Island, Crescent Island. Um, ah, yes. It was this way by Dungurul Island. Let's go. I think we're going in the right direction. Just about. Northwest. Wait. Wait, hang on. Why would we be going north? We want to go southwest, I think. Or at least somewhere in approximation of this way. Ooh. Do we want to do the ship combat? Uh, possibly. Just. It's a bit vague how many ships we actually have to destroy. Um, some things I've read have told me I need to destroy 9 ships. Some things I've read have told me I need to destroy 12 ships. Uh, so I'm not sure. And my phone, uh, <laughs> yeah, stand has just collapsed into a thousand pieces. It does that reasonably often. So I've got like my phone here. I've got two tablets uh, with all the information that I need on. We should be good to go. Right, cannon, cannon. Wow, we have a lot of spirit power. Pretty sure we're about to be sending that thing back to Davy Jones's locker. Or whatever equivalent they have. <laughs> really? One shot? Get out of here, you bum. Okay, cool. Seems rather silly to not take care of him when the opportunity arises. We are north again. What's going wrong with my head today? Seriously. I think it's the heat, you know? We got lost in Resident Evil Revelations, and now we're just, well, getting lost in Skies of Arcadia. I think the heat is really getting to me. Ah, never mind. Oh, who's that? Who was fancying a crack then? You? No. Not you. You whelp. Well... If that's what you want, then I guess that's what you're going to get. Hey, it's a Spectre Spellship, though. These things are generally pretty gnarly, but... You know, so are we. Oh, so many spirit points since we've leveled up, guys. It's pretty impressive. To be fair... These things are fairly armoured, considering that they're a uh, spell ship. So, there is that. However, it obviously cannot stand up to the uh, unbelievably powerful ship that we now possess. Let's speed this up a little bit. We'll be here all day otherwise. There we go. Just gotta teach these value and bastards a thing in manners every now and again. Okay, cool. So, where exactly are we? Uh, right, let's go. Uh, so, we're going to the vortex. Which is this away, man. Let's go back above so we don't actually inadvertently get ourselves hammered. Right, okay, so I think we need to be down here somewhere. Slightly north, perhaps. So I'm sure the vortex is down here. Uh, there's Sailor's Island. Right, yeah, so it's just north of. Just north of the evil, evil island, which is here somewhere behind us. 
Have we apparently really just like gone past it? Apparently. Is it? Where is it? Behind us again? Just through here? Ah, there it is. Whoa! Okay. The hell is this? Uh, they've built a bridge. I don't think we need to go back there. Okay, anyway, let's go into the depths and see if we can actually locate Fina's ship. Is this not what we're supposed to be doing? The vortex? There we go. Just got to find the right pixel. This is going to get rough. Wow. That looks ominous. Do we really have to go through that vortex? Uh, yeah. I'm afraid that I don't know anything about Deep Sky. I'm a little scared. The world beneath the clouds, where not even light can reach. Alright, we're going under. We have to find Fina's ship. Close the pressure shutters. Here goes everything. Start the submergence engine. Submerge! <coughs> Looks like I cough myself to death. Really hope I haven't caught C virus. Need to do a test. Ugh. I woke up really sick today. Just out of nowhere. Oh, we're controlling this. I thought we was in some kind of cutscene. Alright. Fair enough. Let's go. I assume we're going down. Uh, yeah, would appear so. Oh, dudes. Dudes, this is cool. This is very cool. Looks like we're in another ship dungeon. So this is the world beneath the clouds. It's kind of creepy. The surface is covered with a thick layer of mud. Fina's ship is probably stuck in it somewhere. How are we supposed to look for Fina's ship down here? Could be anywhere. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, Brabham told me before we left that he installed something called the Moonstone Sonar into the Delphinus. It's a device that uses energy from the moonstones to detect physical objects. You can use it by pressing the B button. Ah, okay. Once you press the button, the sonar will send out a wave of energy. If it detects anything, a question mark will appear on the map. But if it doesn't find anything, nothing will happen. Yeah, that's an interesting mechanic. Uh, you'll need to send out a few sonar waves as we move around in order to try and pinpoint where the object is. Then once we've narrowed the location down, press the A button to lower the crane. Ooh. Cool. If there's something under the mud, the crane should pull it out. I see. Find it with the sonar, then pull it out with the crane, huh? The sonar uses a lot of energy, so we can only use it 10 times. But if we go back to the clouds, we can recharge the sonar and be able to use it another 10 more tries. Really? That's curious. Okay. So if we run out of sonar charges, we just go back up, huh? Okay, let's start searching. Well, I'm guessing... Oh, we've got this awesome music again. I'm guessing it's probably not going to be here. Right. 
Ooh. Okay. So. Let's start digging, I guess. Now, what was... There we go. I'm guessing if we get it wrong, we're going to dig up enemies. Uh, yep, looks that way. Oh. Whoa, hang on. What's that? That's an ugly son of a... Alright, this could be bad. Ready the X cannon and the Arc Whale torpedoes. And five inch cannons, I suppose. Hit it with everything we got. Let's light this fella up. Uh, okay. Alright, well, uh, he's flammable and very weak, so... Ooh. It's actually worth a serious bit of XP as well. That's curious. Right, well... Let's keep digging, I guess. Yep, looks like we're just going to have to keep fighting these guys. Ten charges, though. It doesn't appear to be leave us much room for error. Oh, no. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we might as well just use all of our cannons, because why not, right? So, just glancing over my notes here, apparently there are indeed some items that we need to fight or find down here. So, right. Discover three things down here. Two pieces of Valorium, apparently, which we will need. to fashion a powerful super weapon for Vase. The first piece of volume lies to the northwest of the L-shaped rock. Northwest of the L-shaped rock? The hell is the northwest of the L-shaped rock? Formation where you begin. Alright. Northwest. So I'm guessing here. Oh, we don't actually have to use. Okay, so we don't actually have to use the Sayonara. That's interesting. Ugh. Sure, whatever. Just kill it. This thing's going to be annoying. But I suppose gold is gold and all that. So. Northwest. So here. Maybe. This could take some time. I'm guessing that is not what we're looking for. Well, we're going to exterminate the population of these things. But that's fine. Each one of these is a thousand gold in our pocket. Right. So apparently... The L shape where we begin. You would have thought this official guide would have actually been um, better than it actually is, really, to be honest. Um, okay, so I'm guessing we need to come over here. Right, let's search here and see what happens. So it is possible I've cracked it. Or it's possible this could just be another monster. 
maybe we get the item after fighting this thing. Although it's possible we have to fight this thing. Crystal ball. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, see that just pops that up. Very curious. Well, I guess we're just going to have to dig up everything. Alright, let's try this. So I'm guessing this is whenever we get it wrong. Well, that missed. Really? Who's manning this thing? A torpedo should hit. Oh, no. It doesn't really hurt. I didn't think it would hurt. Whoa, dude. It survived. Seriously? Alright. <sighs> Light the f bastard up. Right, cool. Now what? Nice. No, Deluxe Kit and a Crystal. Hmm. See, it's very inconsistent where it's telling me to dig on the guide. In fact, there's only two pictures. One says here. And one says... Uh, back where we started. I mean, it tells you with a description roughly where things are but the description doesn't really make a lot of sense oh no we're just going to keep missing this guy as well aren't we evasive action don't use evasive action you're a big giant fish you shouldn't be using evasive action okay maybe the more of these you dig up the harder they get possibly does that make sense I mean, possibly it makes sense. Focus, I guess, sure. There we go. Soundproofing. Well, okay. Right, well, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is... Come back, maybe, when I found it. Oh! There we go. And does that, where I found that uh, Valorium, does that correlate to any of these pictures in my guide? Well, dear viewer, um, no. I think they've just used random pictures that literally have nothing to do with what we're looking for. Wonderful. That's great. Okay, <clears throat> whatever. So let's go back. Actually, let me search secrets in the guide. If I control F, or, uh, yeah. Velorium. Search results. Ah, okay. It's in the collectibles part. Wait a minute. Here? Apparently? Where you start, in the middle of your first... Yeah, there we go. Receive one piece of... Okay, right, we've discovered it. And it also shows another thing. Of where the ship is. Cool. And the ship, apparently, is here. That's good. Ha! <laughs> no editing for me today. At least not here. Oh, nope, that is where her ship is. Nice. Oof, glad I didn't have to piss around with that. The crane grabbed onto something. Pull it up.
There it is. Yeah. Not giving the guide enough credit. We did it! It's Fina's ship! Looks pretty in pretty good condition. Great job, Ica. Hurry and get it on board. Aye aye. Fina, you'll finally be able to get home with this. Yes, thank you very much. This means that I'll have to leave you. Well, I'm sure you can always come back. Uh, oh, Fina, I... Oh, God, what was that? There was an explosion off the port bow. Faze, something's coming. <laughs> oh, good. This D-bag. Well, <laughs> I found you, Vase. I still haven't forgotten what you did to my ship, the Chameleon, at Ixitaka. This underworld will be your grave. I shall have my revenge. Revenge! Really? Well, we shall soon see about that. That was the ship that D-Loco was building at uh, Dangural. Ika, did you secure Fina's ship? Yes, it's on board already. All right, all hands to battle stations. Here's our chance to finally rid the world of that psycho. Let's frickin' do it. Visibility is poor, so it'll be hard uh, to hit him when he's far away. Try and attack from close range. Sounds like a plan. Stick close and let him have it. That looks nasty. Vase, vase, vase. The day has come for you to die. It's finally here. I'll destroy you and your ship and your crew and your, um, I'll kill you. Okay, he's definitely psychotic. Uh, I don't know how close we are in relation to him, but we are going to hit him with everything we have and see what happens. Yeah, thought as much. We're going to miss everything, aren't we? He's too far away. But that's okay. <coughs> he's going to use his torps on us. That's fine. Oh, he's missing too. Oh, oh. We might have this in the bag. Just saying. May have massively overestimated how powerful he is. I mean, I guess our ship levels do kind of come into it. Or not ship levels, um, character levels, I guess, question mark. Vase, the visibility is too poor, I can't see anything, I don't know what's going on outside. The enemy ship is too far away, it will be impossible to see through the clouds, we'll never be able to lock on with our cannons. Our only chance is to wait until D Loco comes close to us. Watch his maneuver pattern closely. Yes, yeah, so we know he doesn't do much there. I think we can hit him in these turns. And then we'll focus. Yeah, so the five inch cannons are just going to rattle off at him, which is fine. We should, if we're lucky, get a double strike on him this turn. Oh, nice. I think he's alongside us now. I'm going to hit him with everything. Oh, 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 nice. You're done, sir. Get out of here. Although he's not exploding. A little bit of XP. Poultry amount. Hey, we got another captain strike. Excellent. What do you think of that, jackass? No, 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 no! How could the chameleon be defeated three times? Not one, not two times, but three times. This cannot be. This cannot be. This is all just a dream, just an illusion. I refuse to believe it. Well, you better believe it, douchebag. Admiral, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Admiral, are you all right? <laughs> this time, dear Vase, I've prepared something special, just for you. It's not over yet. I still have one last trick up my sleeve. Fire the D-Loco Harpoon Cannon. 
Oh dear. Whoa, dude, what was that? <laughs> I shall defeat you with a harpoon cannon, just like you defeated me. I'll get you this time, Vase. I'll get you, I'll get you. Man, this dude is... Whoa, we're going straight in for another round. This guy is psychotic. Hopefully this is going to lock us together, though. You won't get away from me this time, Vase. Now, 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 I'll kill you for sure. Ah. Uh, well, if we're locked together in glorious combat, we shall send everything scouting his way. There's no way... Oh, okay, yeah. There's no way we can miss this time, surely. That's it. Person. Even you have to realise that going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Delphinus is suicide. Your one advantage was your um, length. Oh, ah, wait, hang on. Okay, this might be bad. Well, I mean, I mean, not, not really, but it could have been bad. Yeah, dude, uh, this isn't going to end well for you, like, at all. So, yeah, sorry, buddy. Actually, no, I'm not sorry, you're a dick. Oh, nice. Yeah, get out of here. Go burn to death. Well, that was reasonably easy. Another captain stripe. Well, sure game, if you say so. Don't mind if we do. Yeah, hot, 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 hot. Somebody help me. Somebody tell me this is just a bad dream. No, you burn to death. You son of a bitch. Whoa. Very cool. Looks like that's the end of Bubblehead. <laughs> Bubblehead, I like it. Yeah, but that was a tough fight. We took too much damage. Uh, that was not a tough fight. Dude, we like we didn't even use the harpoon cannon. Um, I'm just saying, we would have been stuck down here. Well, we retrieved Fina's ship. Let's go back up. This place gives me the creeps. Let's go. Nice. I mean, I guess we could keep fishing down here, but as far as I can understand, there ain't much here. Right. Uh, let's. Uh, let's repair ship because I have no idea what's waiting for us out of here. Um, items, ch ch oh, champs. There you go, Kupal. Um, red dra- oh, that's fish, isn't it? It's oh, wow, 12 Dexa seeds. Uh, uh, I guess just share these out between... I'm guessing... I don't know who we're going to lose here. I don't know. Um, so got the choms. Okay. Right, so complete kit. Pop one of those. And Captain Stripe. Oh, we should have waited, shouldn't we? Now just use these crappy repair kits. Excellent. Another 4,000 HP. So, did we get... Oh, God. Did we get any of this cool stuff to add to our ship? So, triple turbo. Yeah. Magic defense isn't much of an issue, really, is it? Soundproofing. Twin turbo. Nah. It will just crap. That's fine. We can just sell it. Okay, so, where is the way out of here? Wasn't it? Hang on. Where is the way out? That's the question. There it is. So hopefully, D oh, we're going down. D Loco is now dead. 
That would please me greatly. Unfortunately, he's died with all of, all of his crew, which is, you know, a bit sad, but never mind. Anyway. Let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> that was a really cool bit. With fantastic music. Absolutely superb music. Right, anyway guys, with that done, that is actually the end of this episode. So, thank you very much for watching, and now I guess we're going to go back to our island, I suppose. Uh, we should also be able to build Vase a new sword, apparently. So... Till then, guys, thanks for watching.